I had been traveling up the west coast of Mexico and had recently spent a few days in the incredible town of Manzanillo. But today my adventure would continue further up along the west and northwest coast of Mexico. There was a shipping port in this town that I had seen, but again my bag was packed and I was ready to go. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I'm here in Manzanillo and my bag is packed again. Today we're gonna go to a place called San Patricio along the coast here but I don't have any place booked and I don't know where the bus is going from so that's what we're gonna figure out now and then I will show you the town of San Patricio so let's go let's go let's go my friends I was in the west part of Mexico and the town of Manzanillo now going just a bit further up and into another beach town I think we're gonna take a taxi actually to the bus station because it's a couple of kilometers, like three miles maybe. Adios. I am here at the bus station again, my friends. I was here a couple of days ago. Now we're going to a town called Melacque. Apparently that's uh, where the bus stop is in the town of San Patricio about um, I don't know, about an hour uh, bus ride here from the town of Manzanillo. I paid around 150 pesos or seven and a half US dollars for this one hour bus ride that would take me along the coast and in to the next amazing place. We passed by some more mountains and also some banana farms and coconut trees. We had arrived in Melacque, San Patricio with a population of only 8,000 people. Hello, I just got off the bus here in Melacque or uh, San uh, Patricio. It's, it seems like it's the same name of the town, <laughs> but I don't have anywhere to live, so I have to go and figure that out, and then we're gonna head down to the beach. The beach is actually right around the corner here, so but first I'm gonna find somewhere to live, and then we're gonna explore the town, so let's go. So I got in here to a hotel now. Um, I walked around in the town and a lot of hotels were actually full. So I had to pay 40 US dollars per night here, 800 pesos. Uh, I'm gonna show you what the room looks like and there's also a swimming pool here. I get this feeling that I have to jump if there's an opportunity to do pool tricks, I have to do it. A lot of times I've been getting not so good hotel rooms even for 40 US dollars per night in the west coast of Mexico. Sometimes I paid 25 US dollars but sometimes that was not very nice and sometimes it was actually also hard to find. So this costs 40 US dollars here. It might be also a bit more expensive now since it's the peak of the high season. January and February I think until April that's like the very peak of the season here. So this pool is actually very very shallow so we might not be able to do any double backflips here as I have been doing in the past. But before we go as always we have to evaluate the bed and see if the bed is good and see how many stars the bed gets. <laughs> through the mattress, so that was not actually very good. The mattress might be like this thick and I hit my back, so that was not good actually. But the bed is actually pretty soft, so I think we give it three stars out of five. Let's go, my friends. So we have the beach actually, just one minute here from the hotel, which is quite nice, right here. When I 
got down to the beach, I saw that it was full of hundreds or perhaps even thousands of people enjoying this really nice beach and sunny day. Hello everybody and welcome to the beach here. It's a huge beach just going kind of in a sea form and we have really big mountains on both sides. There's a big mountain there and there's another big mountain there sticking out. So we are gonna try to hike up this mountain here and see if we can find any good views. So let's go. And it's just full of people. I asked the receptionist at the hotel and he said, she said, there's mostly uh, Mexican people here and almost no international tourists that come here but uh, it's such a nice place so I think it should be more known for international travelers. I'm on my way out actually now to a really famous uh, viewpoint that I've seen on a lot of pictures online right out there it's a beach between the mountains so this is where I'm on my way over to there's a walkway that goes here along the mountain so we're gonna walk over there and then check it out also some fishermen here on the beach we're out here on the cliffs but we're gonna head up on this big rock here now it's a little bit dangerous here actually because the rocks are loose oh. I had come up on a little mountain just outside of the town area to see these incredible views as I had seen since I had been going up the west coast of Mexico. here on top of the mountain some really really cool views here if it was deeper we could also jump it's too shallow so no cliff tricks for today unfortunately but we might go back and jump into the swimming pool my friends how wonderful of a view we have here the Sun is shining temperature is perfect outside we can't have it any better let's go back my friends let's go back People have actually asked me where I put my camera and my drone when I go swimming. I usually hike up on a little uh, cliff somewhere where people can't go and then I put my stuff there and then I jump in. I was gonna go swimming actually but the water does not look all that clear so we're gonna go to the swimming pool instead. back on the beach but let's get something to eat 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 maybe a coca-cola also this is the end of the beach adventure my friends so we are heading back in to town to check that out a bit more so there are thousands of people on the beach but I walked for 
five minutes now. I didn't see a single restaurant. Maybe all the restaurants are on the beach. Let's check that out because I walked through the main road here. I didn't see a single restaurant. But here is one actually. Very, very, very nice. So I got my, oh, I ordered my filete de pescado and also a Corona beer. One beer sometimes I like to drink one beer. It's pretty good. And we also got lots of lime. Very, very, very good. So it was um, 140 pesos for the uh, filete de pescado, seven and a half pesos, um, decent price since we have such a nice view here, uh, yeah really good and I finished about half of my Corona beer, very very good. Actually I meant to say seven and a half dollars, not pesos. So good fish, filete de pescado in butter, really, really, really good. Oh, so good, my filete de pescado feels so, so great. It's one of the best feelings right after you eat. Just feel so satisfied, nom, nom, nom. Oh, I am back, my friends, but we only actually have one more mission for today. Ooh, tricks. We actually have some pool trick blockers here, so we have to wait for them. Then we will be doing some night pool tricks when it's deep in the night, or maybe before it gets deep in the night. There we have the pool trick blockers. Actually, my friends, you're gonna have to wait for the next video to see the jump from the balcony. Unfortunately, there are too many people there and also I think one of the workers is down there Thank you very very much for watching this video my friends as always if you like the video Please leave it a thumbs up post a comment subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to watch my next video Thanks again for watching. See you next time With the pressure I may not ease your pain no. Come along with me and I Tease this day Come along with me Oh now come along and you see What it's like to be free Come along with me And I ease your pain Please also when you subscribe to my YouTube channel Click the bell next to the subscribe button So you get notified every time I upload something See you next time <laughs>